Hey guys, Give Back Gaming here with another Dokkan Battle video for you guys. And today we're going to be taking a look at the new missions, the rewards for those missions, some team building, and um, some of the requirements that are needed for them. Um, so I've already done a few of these off uh, off camera, off yeah, off camera, and um, you know just want to go over it with you guys and maybe you know give a couple of tips that might help out. You have clear stage without a continue, clear stage with six SSR or lower characters, um, clear stage with a team cost of less than 70, and the other one in this area that has been uh, you know, without an item. So let's uh, let's go to the go to the stage here. Click here. Okay. So um, I'm using I've been using a unawakened um, an unawakened um, SS you know, Vegito Blue as uh, as my uh, as my leader um, right now. Finding a friend is probably one of the harder things, but um, these waifus uh, here are great as far as cost goes. You can see um, she's actually awakened and she's only a nine. So we're gonna we're gonna throw her in there, and then uh, that's who I'm using as. As uh, my team as well is a combination of the waifus here. Um, I have uh, an unawakened Gogeta that I've been throwing on there too. But, you know, we'll take a look at the team cost here and everything. He's 24. Um, right now we're at 56 with a friend that's 9. So even with using these extremely low cost characters, if you want to, you know, I think that the best thing to do is to take one, one character that... Um, you know, that's basically going to carry you through for the most part. And that's what I've been doing with Vegito, uh, Vegito Blue. I had, um, I was, I also was, um, using Gogeta up here. He has an identical team cost of 24 that, um, that Vegito Blue does. And when you only need the SSR or, or higher, I'm lucky enough that I have, uh, some really good dupes on here that I can't even use at this point. So when you just need the, the SSR requirements, six SSR or lowers, I mean, I could throw the Vegito Blue, Gogeta, um, the Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan, um, Goku there. But let's get this thing going. Um, these are not very difficult in the beginning. I'm sure as we progress through and, you know, we start getting to those higher level, higher level events, the, um, you know, stage, stages 15 through 20 and everything that... That um, it'll get a little bit more difficult, but as of right now, um, the requirements aren't really that bad, and um, the stages are incredibly easy. But um, one thing I want to throw out there to you guys and what you think about this: this is that um, with this um, this coming about, it's it's got me thinking about you know some of the we you know a lot of times we're looking for new ways that you know Bandai can keep us interested, and um, and ways to get uh, to get to get free to play stones and just the just gameplay that uh, is actually enjoyable, and what I was thinking was, um, you know, what do you you know, what do you guys think about if um, after a certain amount of days, you know, say you know a year to maybe a year and a half, I think a year and a half is a little much, but after a year, if um, if they were to if they were to re uh, restart the 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 quest completely over for us and give us those give us those stones again i think it would be a cool way to reward your players that have been playing for a long time and also um give get us those free to play stones and it would keep everybody you know playing and active and um you know using using stones to refresh them and all that so i just want yeah i just figured i'd throw that out there to see what uh see what everyone else thought about it but Back to this, guys. Um, yeah, it's really not all that difficult in these beginning stages, but you know, if you meet all three requirements in one shot, you're getting four of um, I'm gonna call them Weiss orbs um, every time you do, and um, there's some decent rewards uh, floating around over there, which we will take a look at uh, shortly. Um, give those two to her. I believe that I don't. Even, I don't even think that uh, he's going to survive against my waifus here. And my waifus, um, they, they were trained up just because they have good leader skills. Um, they're key, key plus three, and um, 
and attack and defense up 30%, I believe. Um, so they actually are, they actually have decent leader skills. And um, there's something else that I was planning on using them for. Oh, um, it's a future video idea that um, that I will just uh, leave, keep to myself for, for the moment. But they, uh, they have a decent leader skill. And then they're going to be extremely useful in this because they have really low team cost. And um, they, uh, and they, I believe some of them act as uh, support units as well. So we're about to finish this, uh, finish this up, guys. Um, and then we're gonna go take a look at the rewards and call this, call this video a wrap. So here we go. Raditz, Raditz spice the dust, dust yet again. Get a four to get us to the end there. And here we go. And uh, I actually, I actually think that this, uh, these things are a pretty good idea. Just again to keep everyone playing and give us something to do. So let me uh, let me know in the comment sections what you guys think. This is um, on on this stage you're able to get five five of these orbs. You get two, two, and one. On every other stage on uh, on level one you're getting four. But there you know there's only three stages available. But they will it'll it'll add up pretty quickly because as we can take a look here. Some of the rewards are actually fairly good. Uh, there's two Elder Kai's in here. Um, there's uh, some stamina buffers and stuff. But I think this is really cool that they've uh, that they finally updated this so that you know it, you can sort it by currency. So as you can see, you got an Elder Kai for 30 of these gems. You have an Elder Kai for 50, and then five uh, five extra character slots for for 15 of them. I mean, that would usually cost you a Dragonstone if you wanted to get it. Uh, two extra team cost. I mean, you'd have to level up four times to get two extra team cost. And uh, one extra stamina. One extra stamina, you know, I at the at the level that I'm at, I believe I get one like every three stages. So so I'll definitely take it. So let me know what you guys think about all this stuff and in the comment section down below. If you, if you like today's video, hit that like button. Subscribe if you're new here, and uh, hit the notifications so you can uh, get the latest uh, latest updates on videos here. Um, I will be dropping one more one more video later today on a with a you know um, with um, um, future cat you know if you, like uh, predicting future category leads and then pu and then putting together um, a team. It's uh it's going to be what a lot of people in the community have been talking about corrupted sayings. So I'm going to take a, a global team against uh the you know one of the hardest events we have going the cooler event and um and show and show you guys how absurd you know it could be once once we get this category leader because it's the event can be beaten by um by a team that's already in game and that's going to be nowhere near as buffed as as uh, as it will be once we get the category lead but i hope you guys had a good day today or having a good day today um and i'll see you in the next one peace